Hello idlers, this is your kennel speaking, and ladies and gents, we have new events, and they're just loaded, so uh, we're going to check them out. Of course, we go straight to our mailbox to see what we've got in here, and it looks like, surprise, surprise, not really, it is the heroic summoning event. We're going to get three heroic scrolls per day for the next seven days, a total of 21 uh, scrolls, heroic scrolls, so there we go, we'll claim those, and we'll head on over to our cool events, so first of all, uh, we got Autumn Blessings, and this is, uh, this is a pretty cool event, uh, basically, you know, you spend 30 million uh, gold, which we're going to do right now, well, what is it, 30, yeah, 30 million, I think, Anyway, there we go, we're going to get uh, one heroic scroll, 500 of the hero promotion stones, and 5,000, uh, 5,000k, 5,000,000 uh, spirit per day for the next, uh, you know, for the, for the rest of the event, I guess, for the next... Yeah, for the next 166 hours, which is, of course, the week, this week's events. Anyway, uh, so for this one here, if you spend 3,000 gems, you're going to get another two scrolls per day, uh, 5,000 dust per day, and uh, 10, well, yeah, 10, 10 skin shards per day, which, of course, is like, what, seven skins, I guess? A skin per day, which is great. Uh, I don't, I don't generally spend on skins, like I, you know, you've you've heard me say that before. But uh, in this case, I think it's you know it's a pretty good deal because basically, I mean, you're getting the scrolls and everything as well. Uh, what you're going to get four, fourteen scrolls, which is uh, what is that? The scrolls alone are worth. You know, anywhere from 1,700 to 2,100 uh, gems normally, you know, depending on you know whether you're valuing them at 125 or 150, which is what you get them for uh, in the market and such, Aspen Dungeon and things like that. So I mean, you know, so what you're spending, you know, the scrolls alone are worth, are worth 2,100, and then you know you're spending a few extra gems to get some dust and some skins yeah it's good it's a good deal and i'm going for it because i don't really have uh anything else to spend my gems on at the moment and uh, i've already done my gray dwarves blessing as you'll see in a moment and lastly uh you know if you want to unlock this one three three scrolls per day 666 gems per day and 50 uh, 50, what, 5 star shards, so so a 5 star hero per day basically, then uh, you need to unlock this with uh, with the value packages, so we'll, we'll go and check that out here in a moment here, but uh, that's how you get that one, and And uh, yeah, so we'll, so actually, let's let's go, let's go straight to the puppet package. Actually, so this is how you open, this is how you unlock that last package uh, with this key, the autumn key, and uh, that unlocks the third autumn sash, s sachet, sachet, I guess, and uh, and of course, you know, that comes in this package for for nineteen ninety nine. And of course, you're also getting uh, a stick, a six-star puppet from any of the four regular factions, uh, as well as 30 heroic scrolls, which will help you in the heroic summoning event this week, and 1,500 uh, gems. It's a pretty good. It's a it's a decent deal, I gotta say. I mean, normally for 19.99, you'd get you know you just get the scrolls, the the puppet, and the the gems. So so if you look at it like, you know, with the key, you're getting, you know, another 14 scrolls, another, I don't even want to count the number of gems you're going to get, 
and uh, you know five and seven of these uh, heroes, five star heroes. That that's a good deal. It's a really nice deal for the 1999. Uh, so if you know, so if you are a spender, that's just gravy for you. Uh, if you if you aren't a spender, you might you know you might consider this uh, if you uh, are inclined. But anyway. Uh, and 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 also, also, you know, you will get, you can buy, you can purchase these at any time during this week, and you'll get all of the rewards. So they'll be they'll be cumulative. So uh, so you're going to get all the rewards no matter when you purchase these. So you could wait till the last day and purchase them then, and get everything uh, that you normally would. So so those are the autumn blessings. That's great. You know, free stuff. Uh, you know, basically free anyway, and uh, so that's great. Next up, we have Palace of Eternity, which works uh, normally. Basically, you know, you can basically choose any of the uh, well, any of the last five released heroes. I think. Obviously, I don't have all of the last five, but I have. I don't have Rogans, uh, but I have. Uh, Drake, Russell, and uh, Sherlock there, and basically you can you can exchange one of those for a copy of the new Hero Tix here uh, if you have if you have crystals. So you need the crystals first, and the way you get crystals is you go to the Palace of Crystal, and uh, for every four hundred summons, you're going to pick up five crystals, and uh, and so on and so forth, uh, all the way up to 2,000 scrolls. So if you if you if you do 2,000 summons uh, this week, you're going to get yourself uh, a total of uh, 25 uh, of the crystals. And of course, you can save those if you want to use them on a different event, or you can use them here for this event to exchange for copies of ticks. Uh, and you can al you can also unlock these other uh, bonus crystals, I guess, by uh, by purchasing the value packages. So if you look at the top value package there for ninety nine ninety nine, if you buy uh, you know if you buy a single one of those packages, you can buy up to five of these. So to get all of the extra crystals. You're going to have to buy all five packages, so that's basically five hundred dollars, which is ridiculous. But hey, you know some people are into that sort of thing, and uh, basically, uh, for each of those keys that you buy, for each of those value packages you buy, you're going to get fifteen extra uh, crystals. Again, though, you're going, to, you're still going to have to do the summons, you know. So if you want, uh, you know, so if you want all all, uh, what is it, 25, what's 15 times 5? That's uh, 65, I think. Anyway, so you can get a total of uh, basically, is it 90 or 100, I think, of these crystals. If you do, you know, if you purchase all of the packages and do 2,000 summons, then you can get all of those crystals. But uh, honestly, I'm finding I thought this was a really cool idea when they first introduced it, but now in practice, I just I don't really like it at all. Uh, basically, because my strategy has been uh, since the beginning of this year, my strategy has basically been to ignore the. Um, basically, I, I just ignore the regular faction heroes and just save up for like the anniversary event and the christmas event and just get and just get the light and dark heroes uh that's what i that's basically the strategy i've been taking this year and it's worked out really well so far i mean uh and honestly like i wouldn't try this in, in, until you have like a, a decent e5 like a full e5 team uh, once you do that so at the beginning of this year, I basically had a you know an E5 team with like I think maybe two, 
regular faction heroes and the rest light and dark. So, so I just decided at the beginning of this year, I'm just gonna, you know, just I'm just gonna go for light and dark heroes, and uh, you know, forget the the regular faction heroes. And so far, it's been it's worked out really well for me. For example, you know, I got my Drake and my Russell from the anniversary event, as you can see there. Uh, it took me a little while. I, you know, I did. I barely e 5 my Drake. Like, I don't know, last week or the week before. And, uh, you know, but basically, I mean, my the, my idea in doing that was basically, you know, light and dark heroes have a have a longer shelf life than than your regular faction heroes generally. So. I just figured, why chase, you know, why waste all that time chasing down all these regular faction heroes when you can just, you know, keep, you know, just keep your light, light and darks and, and do the occasional, uh, regular faction hero. For example, you know, I didn't, I didn't spend any scrolls, uh, when Delasium was released, and I didn't spend any scrolls when Sherlock was released, and now I have, like, you know, just through incidental, uh, you know, incidentally, I've picked up, you know, just through events and things, I've picked up, like, enough Delasium copies to, I think, it may make an E1, and uh, I have enough Sherlock copies to E5. So, so it really, you know, it's really worked out for me, honestly. I think it's a good strategy. And, uh, you know, obviously, and especially... I think that, you know, they're introducing the Void uh, faction now to maybe sort of, I don't know, I, I still I, I still think that's it's even going to be a good strategy then as well because you're not going to be spending Heroic Scrolls to get Void heroes anyway. So I think it's still a pretty valid strategy to, uh, to just spend your Heroic Scrolls on Light and Dark heroes. So I'm going to keep doing that. And we'll see how that works out. But uh, anyway, that's that was a long-winded explanation, and I apologise. But uh, basically, what I'm saying is, the Palace of Eternity and the Palace of Crystal just really aren't that big a deal. They just—I don't think they're really that great. I think they're—I think they're really good for the for whales and such. You know, that really want the new heroes and just uh, who are into that. But you know, like I said, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. It's basically spending. You're gonna have to spend a lot in order to actually use uh, these features to your advantage. So for regular players, I don't think these are really a great, uh, a great part of the game, and you can basically just ignore them. But anyway, Great Dwarf's Blessing is still going this week uh, for another week. It was going all, all last week. And as you can see, I got my uh, five star to six star gear and my uh, six star to uh, class specific gear. I got I got mage gear last time for my new Sherlock that I'm building, and uh, and I generally don't do the four to five star conversion because uh, you know you can just you can do that normally in your blacksmith, you know, without spending the extra gems and stuff, you know. Uh, just just collect the you know that four star gear and when you have enough you can just uh, forge it here for gold into five star gear and you, and you can save yourself 1500 gems so that's what that's that's what I recommend but anyway we already talked about the puppet package and the, the value packages uh, like I said they range from 99.99 all the way down to 9.99 you're going to get scrolls and gems and of course uh, for those the uh, the 99.99 packages you're going to get that key to unlock the crystals as well in the the uh, palace of eternity the eternity crystals eternal crystals hero lottery moving on here uh, if you summon if you manage to summon ticks this week uh, and and it does have to go into your collection so if you if you get uh, you know if you get the extra ticks here at 400 they go into your into your bag. You do have to summon those out uh, into your collection in order to get uh, 
in order to get the hero lottery reward. So for every text that goes into your collection, you're going to get uh, a full set of three-star orange gear, which is great for upgrading into uh, higher gear. Or for you newer players, it's it's you know, if if that's you may need some orange gear. That that's nice to get when you're first starting out. And uh, and of course that's for every ticks you get. So every time you get a ticks, you're going to get that gear. And uh, and during the summoning event, uh, uh, it is, you do have a, a you do have double chances to pull five stars. Uh, including the new hero, so that's pretty cool. And uh, basically, here's the summoning event. Uh, you're going to get uh, what is it? I mean, it's the same thing as always. You're going to get uh, 15 profit orbs, uh, 30 heroic scrolls, uh, a copy of um, copy of uh, Karim there at 200 points. Uh, Hero replacement materials at 300 points, and a copy of the new hero ticks at 400 points. And lastly, for, for a full completion of 500, you're going to get uh, 15 glorious relics, which are always great. And you can do four full completions, provided, of course, that you have 2,000 2, scrolls saved up. And uh, so, yeah, for every four completions, you're going to get all the all this stuff over again. So that's good stuff. And lastly, we have the Hero Exchange event. And these two heroes are amazing, I must say. I have, like I said, I just barely E5'd my Drake, and he's amazing. I love him. And uh, and you can also get a Russell here in the Alter Exchange. So, uh, not Russell, I'm sorry, Sherlock. So, uh, Drake is going to cost you 7,000 Alter Stones, and Sherlock for 6,000. And and at, f and when I, and at first when I saw these, I was like, ah, I just barely got enough uh, copies of, of Sherlock to, to E5, and so I don't really need either of these heroes. However, then I, then I, st I decided to use my brain. My brain kicked in, and it said, well, wait a second. Now, two, two of my Sherlocks are in uh, these hero selection chests, right? So... So I thought to myself, well, I could I could get I could get the the dra the uh, I could get the Sherlock from the event, and then I can use one of these chests for something else, like uh, like a Shia or an Ethiqua, or actually, I have which one is it? This one here? No, that's the puppet chest. Oh yeah, it's this one right here. I have this one that has. Uh, I could actually pull, pull a Russell out of here, so I thought, well, so, so I thought, well, so if I if I pick up a Sherlock copy from the altar, then that's basically I'm basically getting a, a free Russell here, so uh, so that's what I'm going to do, and uh, maybe you want to as well. But speaking of chests, uh, I did. I had my best imps adventure ever this last time around. I got to the the uh, the material selection chest here, which I think is like uh, 230 stars. I think I got to around 249 stars or something like that uh, this time. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and, and get uh, chaos stones out of here. Oh, I guess we have to open it. Okay, there we go. Chaos stones. Gonna grab those. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So my best imps adventure ever. Uh, and again, I only ever uh, put. I get the. You know, I take the the shell. I get the shelter mission uh, dice, and then the free dice that you get in your mailbox all week, as well as the thirty dice that you purchase for forty five hundred. So that's all the dice I got, and I got up to the 230 chest, and I think that's pretty much the ceiling. I think you can maybe get to the light and dark chest, but um, but yeah, this, like I said, this is the best I've ever done on Imp's Adventure. So that's pretty cool. And uh, let's go to our monsters, actually. So basically, I'm, I'm building 
Uh, I'm just trying to max out these last two monsters, the wolf and the uh, and the snake here. Or, uh, or I guess I should say uh, Jormungund and Finlier here. Uh, anyway, uh, I got fin Finlier uh, fully leveled to 180, and now I'm just working on his runes. And that's why I got those chaos stones, because that's that's good stuff. So we're almost there. We're, uh, these are almost to level 60. And, uh, yeah, cool. So there we are. We're level 59 on attack, 58 on defense, and or HP, I should say, and 58 on speed. So we're nearly there with Finlia. And, uh, Jormungund here has, uh, an, uh, he's level 144 out of 180, and of course we have not spent anything on his abilities or his runes yet. So, uh, so yeah, that's where I'm at with my monsters, and you know, just trying to basically get five maxed out monsters for my guild wars and such. Anyway, uh. So last up, I guess we need to discuss the new... Oh, let's grab our skin. What skin did we get? Let's see. Okay, already had that one, but that's cool. Anyway, uh, that's Asmodel. So, uh, what else do we have to talk about? I guess, so Russell is in the Glorious Temple now. Not Russell. Uh, Rogan. Rogan is in the Glorious Temple now. Uh, and you can also... There he is. You can also summon him from uh, Elite Hero Shards. And uh, do I have any of those? Yeah, I have a few. Three? Okay. Yeah, I, su I summoned all of mine uh, trying to get... Uh, trying to get my Sherlock copies. But anyway... So yeah, you can get... Rogan in the Elite Shards and the Glorious Temple now. There, there he is, 1.25%. And, uh, and I think, that, and they put Ithiquor's skin, uh, the, the, the football babe skin, in the, uh, in the temple as well. Where is that? There, there she is. So that's in there now. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now, uh, let's check out the new hero here. And honestly, Shadow really does need some love. Uh, they've they've kind of got the short end of the stick for a while now. Um, I mean, Jora, you know, Jora, she, you know, she was relevant for a hot second there, but fell off pretty quickly. And then you had, uh, you know, you had Horus. Horus has stuck around probably the longest. He's pr been pretty decent, but he's... You know, even he's fallen off lately. Uh, Gustin, you know, Gustin's all right. He's, you know, I, I wouldn't say he's food right now, but he definitely isn't. He's never been really a must-have hero uh, by any means. He's good in 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 certain builds and such, but he's never been like you know, like a. He's never been a Garuda or a Carrier, you know, or that type of hero. And then you got Ithiqua, which, you know, came out earlier this year. And she's great in PvE, but uh, really not a great PvP hero. And so now we come to Tix. And Tix is the PvP hero that Shadow uh, needed, I think. I think he's... I think he really is going to be a good hero. Um, so starting with his passive skill here, and passive skills are really important. Uh, these are, you know, these are these are kind of what makes heroes shine generally. So with uh, so his passive skill is revenging Wraith. Uh, basically, when he dies, uh, the enemy that killed him is uh, going to be afflicted with Revenging Wraith. Uh, basically, when a round ends, he deals damage by 30% of the target's max HP. When the target is killed, uh, 
deals damage against all surviving enemies by 30% of their max HP. So it's basically, it's kind of like a kind of like an Aiden effect in a lot of ways. But uh, basically, uh, that hero is going to lose 30% of its max HP. So that so 30% not of its current HP, but 30% of its max HP per round until it dies. So that's pretty that's pretty cool. You know, Aiden's effect just goes off a single time, but uh, this this is basically going to uh, reduce that that target for 30% of its max HP per round until it dies, and then once it dies, then it you know then uh, all surviving enemies get 30% uh, of their max lose 30% of their max HP. So it's kind of a ticking time bomb kind of, uh, which is pretty cool, and then. Uh, uh, the damage is capped uh, at 2500% of Tix's attack. And, uh, uh, however, he does steal attack, and we'll get to that momentarily here. But uh, here's Nether Touch. Now, this is another passive skill. So, uh, when a round ends, if an enemy has higher attack than self, Tix will exchange his attack with the enemy for one round. The attack difference caps at 300% of Tix's current attack. So he basically uh, he basically takes uh, I guess is it just a random enemy? Seems like it's random. When a round ends, if an enemy has higher attack than self, so any enemy that has higher attack than him, he's going to exchange with one of those enemies. Okay. Uh, just so, you know, if like two enemies have higher attack than Tix, I guess it's just random which one he, uh, he he exchanges with. Maybe it's the highest attack one. Maybe not. I don't know. It doesn't really say here. But uh, the attack difference caps at 300% of Tix's current attack. So, uh, so yeah, he switches attack with someone. And so I don't know. I don't know if you want to make Ticks, if you want to build him with a high attack or not, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll keep. Let's keep looking at his skills. So basic attack targets the enemy with the highest attack. So that's the enemy with the highest attack. That uh, there, dealing 180% of attack damage, and an e an extra damage by 600% of the target's attack. So that so it targets the highest attack unit and basically burns it for its. Uh, for its attack, basically. And then in the meantime, reduces the target 40% of attack for two rounds. So he reduces uh, the, that target's attack as well. Pretty cool. So, um, so he's kind of, he's kind of a counter, well, he's kind of a counter to Drake. We'll talk about that moment in a second here too. So Coffin of Nothingness, uh, basically uh, HP plus 35%, crit 30%, Control immunity 30% and speed 60. And that's why I say he's a PvP hero, because he, he, he has extra speed here. And like I was saying before, you don't really want to, to build ticks with attack. Uh, it looks like here, you know, you're going to want to build him with a lot of HP. So that he stays around for a long time. And basically, you know, his attack is going to come from that exchange ability. So he's going to to exchange attack with the with higher attack heroes on the other side. So you really don't need to build him with any kind of attack. Don't give him any kind of attack artifacts. No attack stone. Just build him uh, for tankiness, basically. You just want him to stick around and basically wear down the enemy's attack and buff his own attack, basically, is what he does. And lastly, soul explosion here. Deals 800% of attack attack damage, that's a lot of attack damage by the way, against four random enemies, dealing an extra damage by 800% of the target's attack. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, again, he punishes high attack units. Steals uh, the tar target's 25% of attack for three rounds. Uh, so in addition to the exchange uh, exchanging attack with the highest enemy, he also steals attack as well so he can get he's going to get a really high attack at some point you know as long as he sticks around so that's why i say 
build him, build him for tankiness, build him to last. And I think you'll see him shine. Has a 50% chance to inflict silence to targets whose energy... Oh, okay, cool. So they're bringing back silence and horrify here. Uh, so for targets whose energy is no less than 90 for two rounds. So that's so targets who start out with uh, extra energy, he can punish them. Has a 50% chance to inflict horrify. Uh, yeah, so 50% chance to inflict silence and 50% chance to inflict horrify against energized units. And of course, silence and horrify are two sides of the same coin. Silence prevents, uh, prevents active skills and horrify prevents basic attacks. So you can really shut down some units pretty nicely with uh, this ability. And so, um, yeah, so pretty, pretty nice. Like I said, I think he's going to be really, really good in uh, PvP. Uh, what is his speed? He has 1218, which is, uh, you know, again, Ada's kind of the gold standard for speed. So let's see. Ada's 1238. So he is slower than Ada. And, uh, oops. And what about Kerry? Well, my Kerry's all buffed, so that's not really. Here, yeah, let's see. So Carrie normally, what does she have? Does she have 12? Yeah, she has 12, 18. So he's as fast as Carrie. Uh, you definitely, I think, want to build him for speed. Because, uh, of course, what, what is Drake? What's Drake's speed? Because I think he's kind of a counter to Drake. Which is odd because, oh yeah, so Drake's, Drake's still faster. Uh, he's still 12, 32. Uh, compared to uh, Tix's uh, compared to Tix's uh, 1218 so I gotta say yeah I mean I think he is I think he is a counter to Drake basically because Drake has really high attack uh, especially if you uh, are running him with like a glittery uh, AMB, for example, um, which a lot, which I'm trying to do right now. I have AMB on him, and I'm hoping to pick up another one in the next, you know, couple of months uh, before the end of the year, and maybe make that glittery. But uh, basically, yeah, I mean, ticks basically counters Drake. But honestly, that's kind of weird because I don't. I don't know that Drake's really a problem for anybody. I mean, I do. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like my Drake, but um, but I don't think you know. I don't really find him to be a problem for anyone. Anybody. I don't really have problems with fighting Drakes, but um, but he definitely seems like he's a counter to Drake, and uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting. So I do think. You know, I do think uh, Carry here is really um, is really the. I think she's still pretty much the it hero. I mean, I think Russell kind of kind of came out and sort of dampened her a little bit, but uh, but I think but she's still really good, and I don't see her falling out of the meta anytime soon. I think she's going to be kind of like Ada. I mean, you, you look at Ada, and she's still, you know, she's still going strong, you know. She's still uh, good, and she's been around for a long time. Same thing with Bell Rain. Bell Rain, you know, people still use Bell Rain. I'm building, I'm building a Bell Rain right, right now. Uh, I, have an, an, I have a nine star. Uh, but, yeah, but, yeah, I, I still think... Uh, Carrie's still kind of the the hero to have right now. I mean, if you don't have a, at least a, one Ada on, a carry on your team, uh, you just you're gonna have trouble competing. And and I don't see her falling off anytime soon. So, uh, so I definitely think Carrie's still the one to beat. Uh, but again, you know, Ticks. I think that's I think that's a really nice. I think he's a really nice hero for the Shadow Faction, 
like I said, they really needed a decent hero, and I think he's it. Uh, he's going to be really nice in PvP, um, and uh, you know, counter those high attack heroes uh, like uh, Drake, for example. But you know, like others too, like Garuda and such. And uh, yeah, he's just he's a good hero. So there you go. That's ticks. And uh, I am your Colonel signing off, everybody. Thanks for joining me tonight. And remember, as always, karma can be a real bitch, but she can also be lovely. So treat her nicely. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.